This is Brent, president of B2C Fitness, and we're doing gluteus medius reactive integration, a muscle that has a propensity to get weak in both our lower leg dysfunction as well as our lumbopelvic hip complex dysfunction. Now before we do this exercise, I'm going to assume that we've already done our release, stretching, and isolated activation. That is, we have released and stretched those muscles that are short and tight, and we have gone ahead and already isolated, activated, our gluteus medius that's going to be with clams and sideline leg raises and you guys can check out those videos. Now the purpose of reactive integration is to go ahead and start getting the gluteus medius to be part of more functional movement patterns at a slightly increased tempo. We want to make sure that we don't only have a strong gluteus medius but a gluteus medius that will fire when we need it. I'm going to have Steph go ahead and come in and help me demonstrate this exercise, a fellow student in the DPT program at Hunter. She's going to go ahead and put this band above her knees. Now this is a fit loop. You guys could use a resistive band and just wrap it around a couple times. We need to keep mindful of our overactive synergists still. Although we've released and stretched many of them, we still need to think about what they would do to our form. So our overactive synergists for the gluteus medius are our quadratus lumborum, our TFL, and our piriformis. Now, we can take the quadratus lumborum out pretty easily by just making sure that Steph's torso stays nice and vertical. Piriformis is not hard to take out either. We just want to make sure that we don't end up in an excessive forward lean or a deep squat position as our piriformis is the primary horizontal adductor of our hip. That is, it's our primary horizontal adductor here. The further we get into a forward bend or a deep squat, the more likely the piriformis is going to become the primary contributor and not the gluteus medius. So I'm going to have her keep up nice and tall. The TFL is by far the hardest muscle to get out of this exercise. We know that this TFL has a propensity to become synergistically dominant for a weak gluteus medius. So first things first, I'm going to have Steph make sure that she is pushing with her glute med, that is she is pushing with this outside leg and not reaching this way to get over this way. So Steph, go ahead and take a nice step for me. Good. Let me have you step back. You guys might have noticed a little something from Steph where her, her feet led her her knees, your gluteus medius, at least the weak fibers of your gluteus medius are external rotators. Your TFL is an internal rotator. So if I let her internally rotate her femur, I'm going to get that TFL pretty jacked up. If I get her to externally rotate by keeping her feet straight ahead and then leading with her knees, she get a lot more gluteus medius activity. This is why in this case I've put the band above her knees to try to cue her to push out against that band. So let me go ahead and see that step. Good. Feel that a little more in your gluteus medius? Good. The last thing that we can do to even increase gluteus medius activity more, if that hadn't worked for Steph, which it did, that was, that was great. Let me have you go ahead and step back. And since the TFL is a flexor, we can take the TFL out through reciprocal inhibition by adding just a little bit of extension. Now I'm not going to have Steph take a huge step forward. But if she takes a step that's just slightly forward, she'll go a little bit into extension. Let me have you do that one more time, but back up a little bit. And then not quite so much forward stepping. So you're going to step to about where my foot is. Good. Go ahead and go back. This time let me have you lead with your knees a little bit more. Good. One more time. One cue that I like to use when, when people start reaching a little bit, which Steph is doing, is Steph, I want you to barrel your shoulder into me like you're going to knock me over. Good. And then she has to push. All right. So there you go, guys. Gluteus medius, reactive integration. You guys saw the form cues to take out all of those overactive synergists being our quadratus lumborum, TFL, and piriformis, the TFL being the hardest one. And I have a couple cues that will help make that happen. Thank you.